Hello everyone, welcome back to Shamrock Valley with me, the, this gaming man. Uh, blimey, I hope you like the little intro bit. I've spent that much time making thumbnails and things. It's kind of a bit of a waste just to have them as thumbnails, so I kind of put them at the beginning. So I know a lot of people make them and put them on and kind of a bit of a waste to just leave them. As you see, I've made some bales and I've put a few in this shed just around here and I'm just going to show you, I've put some bales tidily packed in this shed. I've used one of those easy stack balers, quick stack balers. Uh, right, today, as you saw from the thumbnail, we've spent, we're have spent. we going to spend all our money on something. That something is going to be, I'm just going to get up on the, uh, on the old uh, little lap, little tablet thing. We're going to get an animal feeder because some of our animals are going to be producing milk soon. Our cows are going to be producing milk. And we're going to get a Keenan uh, mech fiber animal feeder so we can make total mix ration. Um, it's a lizard brand because of obviously copyrights. So we're going to get one of those. We're not going to get it right, right now. We're going to try and um, fertilize our field one. So right now, because we're going to be low on money, we're going to hire, this is all going to make sense in a minute, we're going to hire a slurry spreader. But we haven't got slurry, you're saying. No, we've not got any slurry, but we have got digestate down at the, but down at the, um, my brain's all over the place at the moment. Down at down at the uh, biogas plant because we sold a load of um, silage bales. So we're going to go and pick up the uh, digestate from there. And we're going to spread that as fertilizer because we haven't got a lot of money. We won't have a lot of money by the time we buy the uh, Keenan. Um, feed mixer we're gonna have to uh, kind of utilize what we've got so hiring this and using what we've got in the uh, in the stores is going to kind of help that I think I don't know how much digestate we've actually got we'll probably have a, a fair amount so hopefully we'll have enough digestate to fertilize that field at least once field one and then what we'll do is we'll set a worker off and then we'll start making some total mix ration. Whoa! I wonder if he's been to the pub before he came, before he jumped in the car. Blimey, Charlie. Right, so let's go and have a look, see how much digestate we've got down here. So how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, had some good comments on the last last video. Um, it's been really good. Really had some new subscribers to the channel, so welcome along. Um, really, really good. Um, really, really good. Really happy. Um, yeah, really good. I'm really surprised how many people are subscribing. Um, bit taken back really I wasn't expecting yeah really 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 sure thank you so much for all the nice kind messages it's really nice it's really good I want to congratulate Seabor as well for getting over 100 subscribers as well last week which is fantastic um, really really good well done um, yeah fantastic effort uh, onwards and upwards for him if you haven't checked out his channel, go and check him out. He does a a series um, called Dan on the Farm. I believe his second season is coming sometime in the autumn. I think it's all depending on when the next update on the map is happening. Um, but yeah, go and check him out. Go and check Seabor out. He's very, very good. Um, yeah, congratulations to him. Um, 
yeah, brilliant stuff. So yeah, we just had just under 50,000 litres of digestate. So that's not too bad. I'm sh pretty sure we will have enough to do our field and probably a little bit left over. So that should be enough for us to get carry on for a little bit. get up, up up this hill gonna take a few tra uh, journeys up and down here I think oh it's heavy up there I might buy one of these at some point I think it's definitely gonna be a purchase I think oh, I think he's going right yep facing the wrong way yeah quite fancy buying one of these um, one of these spreaders I like how the, the beacons flashing on the dashboard I didn't realize that just over the steering wheel on the right hand side I quite like the checker plate as well on the dashboard that's quite nice a nice little feature. To think about filling this tractor up as well. Half oh, full. Don't want to be running out of fuel on this one. But at least we've got a fuel tank now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown on how all the animals are doing as well later on as well. Where we are with animals, like uh, with pregnancies and things like that as well. Because we're coming to a point where we'll be getting new births and things like that. Which is pretty good. It's all good stuff. So I don't really do a lot of um, slurry spreading and and uh, digestate spreading, I must admit. But as we've got it on this map, I might as well use it. I know this sh uh, the shaming man's quite a good, quite a big fan of slurry spreading. Yeah, I thought as we as we're making uh, digestate down at the biogas plant, I might as well use it. And we're going to be low on money, and we're going to be using a lot of fertilizer at the moment. So yeah. It's quite a good uh, small small um, throw on it but not bad not a bad throw on it I know on the PC version you can change the um, the spray rate on it so you can adjust how much comes out which is you can't really do that on you can't do that on PlayStation which is a bit of a shame but it it is what it is so We'll get all the way around, just about. Just about, I think. No, oh, just about. Right, so I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse. So you can sit back, grab your um, glow sticks. Have a boogie round the house, the bus, wherever you are.
Shaming Man, Nut Hutch, Seabor, Driver 53, Vivian, Dubbo, Lee Square Gaming, VF Boy, Old Bandit Gaming. I see you dancing round the lounge with your glow sticks out. Don't deny it. <laughs> Right, that's that job done. Just got a little bit left in the tank, so I'm just going to use up what we've got around the edge of the field. Yeah, quite like this little uh, Marshall Slurry tanker. It's quite a nice little mod. Um, I'd probably get like a probably like a bigger tanker, like a chaser tanker, maybe save all the uh, extra driving up and down maybe I don't know because um, it's quite a lot of driving up and down but you know I suppose in real life you would you know a lot of farmers will be driving backwards and forwards but we haven't got a lot of we haven't got a lot of money so if your funds were if you don't, did have a bit of extra surplus cash I suppose you could buy a, a like a chaser tanker I guess to cart the extra, to cut the uh, extra running backwards and forwards down. But yeah, I do quite like the, uh, quite like that. Like, can't get me words out. I haven't put my teeth in. I do quite like this, uh, this, this mod. It's a really nice mod. Very nice. So yeah, we'll head back to the farm now, and. Uh, what I'll do is I will get the drill, we'll get our Cavernland drill which we bought last week and I'll do two runs around the field and I'll just set a worker off and then we'll we'll set up our, um, our feed mixer, we'll buy our feed mixer which is what the episode's really about but moving along quite nicely we'll get the uh, the shop to come and pick this up but yeah definitely a very good little mod that I like that I like that definitely probably a purchase in the future so I'll jump in the Massey 7726 I do like this seed drill I think I've said it many a time. I know it's only three three meter width, but I think we're going to put uh, canola in this field as well. Uh, just have a quick look. Or plan A, we were. It was in wheat in the old in that field. So yeah, it's canola. Was the plan? So it's going to be winter canola. Hopefully, I'm hoping we're not going to have too much failed crop in it. We'll have to see. Too much. Hopefully, we won't have too much withering. So yeah. So I'll carry on doing this, and uh, you see me do this plenty of times anyway. So I'll jump, jump cut this. And I shall see you shortly. So that's the run round the field done, and the work that's set off. And right, we'll head off down and sort out the Keenan feed mixer. Well, the Lizard Mech Fiber mixer. So we're going to go with... Trying to decide which wheels to go for. I think we're going to go with Michelin wheels. We're going to go with the big wheels as well, I think. Go for the chunky... Go for the big chunky wheels, I think. And we're going to go all in, I think. And 
go fully loaded. It's 48,000. Blimey, Charlie. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. So, I'll go and pick up the feed mixer now. Head down to the shop. Take our little Deutz Far tractor. So, yeah, the, the, the shop have come and picked up the. Uh, the slurry tanker as well they needed it for another job they came and picked it up from our farm very efficient company they are shame they didn't pick up the uh, feed mix drop off the feed mixer for us so here it is blimey that's quite a big feed mixer makes our tractor look diddy Still got some seed down there as well. Come and pick that up. Yeah, I've never used this mod before. First time I've used it. Nicely detailed mod by the looks of it. Really, really nice. If you follow Tom Pemberton on YouTube or any other. Um, social media uh, he's got the Keenan um, food feed mixer he's got one of these yeah it's, I think it's quite pop but it is pricey on the slot count this is I think it's 18 on the slots so it's not yeah, it's quite pricey on the slots very detailed though it is very detailed so I think we'll just park it here so we're going to mix some total mix ration for our cows. I'm just going to show you how our cows and sheep are doing at the moment. So I'll start with the sheep. We will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven, seven uh, pregnancies there out of the sheep that's good and out of the nine cows we've got we've got we've got one bull and our bull's called bully so let's have a look we've got one in one pregnancy there at the bottom so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine we've got nine pregnancies out of all the cows as well so that's fantastic various of due dates there so yeah definitely need to get the total mix ration mixed so we can get producing milk um, and also with the winter coming we need to get the health up so yeah so i'm going to put the help window on as well so we can see how the uh, mix ration is so this capacity is twenty two thousand. so my maths serves me right if we get two two hay two silage and one straw we're going to be just about right we're going to be a little bit under we could put half we can't put half a bale in because we're going to end up losing half a bale was that right um I think we will, won't we? Is it 22,000? We'll work it out. Right, anyway, we're going to stick two of these in for now. I suppose if we stuck it all in loose, we could mix it all up mix it in loose but we haven't got a haven't got any way of stick it in loose and this tractor's kind of the wrong way around at the moment as well it needs to be facing the other way around so I'll just spin it round bear with me so I've opened it up and I've span it round Yeah, 
just drop this in I think we're going to have too much hay and silage bale so we could probably sell some of our hay and silage at some point we've got a lot of hay it all depends I suppose with the uh, how seasons goes and if we have a shortage of anything just switch that on as well sound effects are brilliant Sound effects are fantastic. Um, probably don't need to pick those up actually, they're not fermented yet actually. They're the newer stock. Pick these two up here at the top here. This telehandle is definitely coming into its own now. At the start I wasn't too sure about buying it, I must admit. I thought it was a bit of extravagance, but kind of now it's definitely coming into its own. How are we doing? See now, now it's total mixed ration, but I'm going to bulk it up using some uh, straw. I suppose if I had some loose straw, I could chuck a bit of loose straw in. But yeah, I'll stick a, one bale of straw in. There's some really good food mix, total mix ration uh, mods out at the moment. A bit of lag there. We've got like the in situ ones at the moment, but I thought I've not used this mod yet, so I quite fancied using the Keenan. quite close to the wall there clipping the apex there Going to be able to get another one in. Uh, 20,000. If you had anything loose, you could probably put a bit more loose of hay or maybe a little bit more silage in. You wouldn't be able to put any more straw in. So, yeah, that's all done. Lovely. So, I'll go and open the, uh, the cow shed door up now. gonna have to move that out of the way so just bear with me I'll go and move all that out of the way right moved all that out of the way there we go gonna empty that I wonder how much this is gonna take that's filled up at 5,000 litres was that 3,000 litres that's not too bad, blimey. We're not going to be eating much of that then. Going through that very much. Lovely. So I'll just go and sort the yard out now. And then we'll go and have a look, see what the uh, how the canola sowing's getting on. I'll park this under the under the shed in here. to live in here for a bit right driving up now to have a look at field one see how he's getting on oh that was good timing not far off yep he's not too far from getting it done lovely job so we'll have to get this fertilised next so yeah and we'll have to get another fertilising state done after that as well. So, 
whether we do that in the next episode we'll have to see so yeah thank you so much for watching and until the next time we shall see you soon <laughs>